This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Tuesday, June 6th. Starting out with the stock index futures. Did see some pressure in a risk off trade in the overnight session. However, futures coming back now to just being mixed. We continue to believe that the main trend is higher for all of the major stock index futures. Nothing changing in our long-term view. I think this is a trend that will last for quite a few more months. So continue to trade stock indices from the long side. Moving over to the currencies, oddly enough, the dollar index under some pressure while other flight to quality, uh, quality vehicles such as treasuries and gold are trading higher. Even the yen is higher, which is considered to be a flight to quality vehicle. So something really not quite there in the dollar index. And I think what it really is, is interest rate differential expectations as they have over the last several months are turning more and more against the U.S. dollar. So we would expect the greenback to continue to underperform and trade lower while the euro currency is likely to continue to advance. Also in the interest rate futures markets, flight to quality buying coming in there. As long as this is a very important influence, I think I'd stand aside in the treasuries. Ultimately, I think we'll move lower again but our favorite long is the gold market. It has been for quite some time. Inflation likely to continue and, and I think accelerate geopolitical problems also in the forefront. Also, we are on the verge of breaking out above the 1300 level in the August gold contract. So nothing changing in our view there. Continue to trade gold from the long side. There is most likely a lot left price-wise and time-wise for this bull market that we are seeing in gold. So good trading, everyone. Once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.